Okay guys, as I mentioned in my last video, I've just been on a really, really good cruise, but one of, no, two of my belts snapped, my air conditioning belt and my power steering belt. I've now been out and grabbed two Gates belts. This one here is for the aircon. It's a 13 millimeter V belt by 900 long. Power steering is another V belt, but it's an 11 and it's 800 millimeters long. So you can uh, pick these ones up if you have the same issue as me. Grab yourself a couple of new belts and now we're going to install them. I'll show you how. As you can see here, the crank pulleys. Two options. This one here is the 13 mil and this one's the 11 for the power steering. So this one here runs across to that pulley there and then across to that one there, a bit higher, to that there, which is the air conditioner condenser. So that's the 13 mil hose, uh, 13 mil V pulley, which we replace first. And then second, we replace the 11 mil V pulley to the power steering, which is right there. An incredibly easy job. But if your belts are looking a bit cracked, definitely replace them because driving without aircon is a horrible thing. Tools you'll need, 13mm socket and ratchet and a 5mm allen key. For the air conditioner, this little pulley here is just your tensioner one. So just get your socket, 13mm socket and undo it. Then you just have to thread the pulley in and over the crank pulleys. There, onto that. And then down onto the aircon condenser pulley. Then we just need to make it tight with this little guy. Okay, so while working, trying to get that pulley to get as tight as I could, um, it just wasn't working, so works out that I've gotten the wrong belt. You don't want a 13 by 900 long. So I shot back down to Repco to grab another belt, swap out the belt, and I grabbed a 13 by 875. But even now that one looks a bit too short. So if you're doing this job, probably grab yourself a 13 by uh, 880 or 890 because I reckon that's the sweet spot for this job. So unfortunately with the way it is at the moment, I don't think when I go to put it all back together that that six millimeter uh, Allen headed bolt will reach it's I don't think it's long enough to reach onto the pulleys and to use it as a tensioner so just for the meantime I'm going to put it on and just use the belt and uh, just use the nut on the pulley and pull it down as tight as I can then lock it up and I'm going to go get myself a longer six mil bolt one that will be able to attach to this little arrangement here so basically what happens is this little guy here, that's your um, M8 bolt which goes through the pulley and the pulley goes into this nut on the other side and this M6 um, bolt goes into that and they, this one tightens up on a, a little bit of bracketry that when you tighten it down, it pulls it and it pulls the pulley, oops, it pulls the pulley down onto it, so it makes it really tight. Um, just what I'm going to do is just put the bolt in there and bolt it up and make it as tight as I can, and then get itself a longer bolt. But just for the meantime, that's what I'm going to do for my aircon. You can see here that this is the bit that the M6 goes on and this little L-shaped part goes in and you can see how it would work. It slides up and down on this. The pulley sits on the outside of that 
bolt goes through. But you can see how a 890 millimeter belt would be a lot better than this 875 because even with the 875 it's still it's actually pretty close to this here and it's what and it means that this bolt here isn't long enough it'd need to be you know that long which it's only 30 mil long so I'm not going to use this just for the meantime I'm going to chuck this bolt inside the pulley like that and then this guy can hold it oh man I wish I had a third hand so much for being the world's easiest job <laughs> A little bit loose so I need to loosen it and then push down on this pulley and tighten it up I reckon that still pretty loose cut to it being tight all right I think that's as tight as I'm gonna get it at the moment which I think is a, a reasonable tightness anyway but I'm gonna go start the car and engage the air con and see if that Start squeaking. Well, it's spinning. And it seems to be working. It's pretty loose though, isn't it? You can see that wobble in it. I definitely think it needs to be tighter. The aircon in the car's cold though, so you'll be ready. She's working. Oh, well, anyway, let's do power steering. So, with power steering, this guy here, that little nut, he needs to be loosened off. So, let's do that. I'll probably need a little extension on my socket. That loosens off the bolt holding the tooth ratchet. That's a 19mm, so now we loosen off or tighten up loosen see it moving the belt so tight there we go maybe loosen it off a bit more There we go, and then tighten it up. Mm, probably a bit too tight. Yep, get your 13, tighten up that one. Power steering is super easy. Look at that. All right, gonna test that one now. Turn the car on. Good test for the power steering. No belt slip. No screaming. Sweet, so aircon and power steering are done. So that was actually really easy. Um, I've still got that issue with the uh, tensioner bolt for the aircon. I'll get a longer bolt, create a little system and make it so that I can tighten that up a bit because it's still too loose. Um, 
but certainly if you're doing this job just make sure you get the right belts from the people because sometimes the shops they don't know so do some research on what is the right width and length belt and it's a really easy job something that even a real amateur can do like me because you don't want to be paying people all that money just to do something so simple so thanks heaps for watching i hope you enjoyed it please uh, like and subscribe to my channel i'm going to be doing heaps more videos on my little e30 and uh also talking to you guys about me and my little business and hope you can check us uh, out at cap industries www.cap.industries one day and have a look at what else we make enjoy your day thanks heaps guys see ya